Hello, love English viewers. Now, something you might not know about me is that I was born in Liverpool. Liverpool is a city in the north of England, of course, famous for the Beatles, Elvis Costello, the famous Reds and the Blues. It's a fantastic city, despite its rather cold weather. It's a popular destination for tourists, and as well as that, because of its good universities, it attracts a lot of foreign students. So some of you may in fact be coming to study in Liverpool. Now, if you are going to Liverpool for work, study, or for a holiday, these are the words that you will need to know. Liverpudlians, or Scousers as we're more commonly known, have their own dialect, so own words that are just common in Liverpool. And generally to outsiders, these words are not really understood or not known. So it's a really good idea to know them, as when you go to Liverpool, you'll hear them a lot, and it could get rather confusing. Now you're probably thinking that she doesn't have a Scouse accent. Well, that's because I moved from Liverpool when I was five, and so I lost my accent because I moved to the south. However, most of my family are from there and I visit often, so I'm familiar with this vocabulary. So number one word that you need to know in Liverpool, if you can't remember any other of the words from this video, this is the one you need to remember. It's boss. In Liverpool, everything is boss, meaning it's great, it's amazing, it's awesome. So you can say, that night out was boss. Did you see the new Bond movie? It was boss. The food there was boss. That scram was boss. She's got a new job, it's boss, 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 boss. Number two is scran, and scran just means food. And you can also use this as a verb. So you can say, I'm gonna scran this, meaning I'm going to eat this quickly, I'm gonna scoff. I'm gonna scran this, or what scran are we having later? Meaning, what food are we having later? What scran are we having later? The next one is bevy and bevied. Now a bevy is a drink. So if someone says to you, let's go for a bevy, it means let's go for a drink. However, if someone is described as being bevied, that means they're drunk. So you might hear, our Sonia was bevied, or you might hear, it's gonna be a great night, we're gonna get bevied. A cob on, to have a cob on. For you non-natives out there, it is a cob on. Sounds like two words, but they're actually separate, to have a cob on. If you've got a cob on, then you're in a bad mood. You might hear things like, she's got a right cob on. Don't talk to the boss, he's got a right cob on. Number five is a yarg. A yarg means a fake, so a copy of designer items like sunglasses, bags, wallets, belts, any of those things. So you might say, those bags look like yargs, or he was really flexing his new sunglasses, but I think they were yarg. Number six is trabs, and trabs means trainers. So you might hear people saying, you got those trabs in a size five, please? I got these new trabs for me mum for Christmas. Number seven is chocker, chocker. And oh my goodness, is this one used a lot. Chocker means full, that you've got a lot on, so it can also be used for things like busy, but you can also replace crowded with chocker. I'm not going to town, it's absolutely chocker. Yeah, sorry la, I can't come out tonight in chocker. Now you might have noticed there that I used the word la. I'm sorry la, I can't come out tonight in chocker. Now la is short for lad, and in Liverpool the word lad means mate, so friend, but also it means guy, kind of like how we would use guys or mate in the rest of the UK. So it's a term for a male, but it's very commonly used in Liverpool just to mean mate or friend. And you will often put it at the end of sentences, like, how's it going la? Number nine is a bifter, a bifter. And a bifter is just a cigarette. Hey girl, you got a bifter? So if you're a bit confused when you hear the sentence, have you got a bifter? It actually means, have you got a cigarette? Oh, I'm devos, I've run out of bifters. Next one is clobber, which means clothes. And I would say that this is used throughout the UK, clobber. So you might hear someone saying, really need to get some new clobber. Number 11 is fella. And I generally think this is used when people are talking about their boyfriend or their husband. So me fella, me fella's getting the bevies. Or what are you looking at, me fella's race here? Or it can also be used to replace guys. So we can replace guys, with fellas. Now, fellas is understood throughout the UK, so it's not too much of a different one. So you'll definitely hear this one in Liverpool as well. So fella or la was the slang for a man, but the slang for women is a bird or a judy. So you'll probably hear quite a lot a guy saying me bird, and that means my girlfriend. So a judy is perhaps a little bit more old fashioned and perhaps used for older women and used by generally the older generation, I would say. So my dad would use that. 
um, but bird is used by the younger generation and you can use it about a group of girls so you could say those beards but usually it's used by men to talk about women usually women don't use it about themselves or refer to groups of women as birds that's more what men do the next one is you know what i mean i can't even say this in a southern accent because you need a scouse accent to say it correctly so it would be you know what i mean you know what i mean and you're actually eating those words it's you know what I mean. That's like actually how you would say it, you know what I mean. But in Liverpool, it's you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? The next one is gagging in. And this is basically interrupting, butting in, we might say. Butting in is what we would use in the rest of the UK. So it means pushing into the conversation, talking over other people, um, perhaps putting your nose in business that isn't yours. So you might hear, can you stop gagging in? Mind your own beeswax. Next one, this is an important one. This is a wool or a woolly back. Now, people from outside Liverpool, so the Wirral, Runcorn, St Helens, they can be referred to as wools. And this is a bit of a derogatory term. Liverpudlians sometimes aren't too keen on people from outside Liverpool. And this is because during the Dockers strike, uh, people from outside Liverpool would bring in trade. So they might bring in wool and things like that. So they'd often be carrying bales of wool on their back into the city. So they would do the work of the dockers for them, so they became unpopular because of that. Um, it can just be used just to mean that they're from outside, but there's a, a negative connotation. The next one is a meth, a meth. You seen that guy? What a meth. And basically this means a person who maybe doesn't look clean or um, doesn't have very good clothes on, maybe his clothes are a bit shabby, something like that. Um, perhaps people who look like they might have a drug problem or homeless people. It isn't nice to talk about them that way, but in the rest of the UK, we might say something like a skank. So somebody who doesn't look very nice in their appearance. It's a derogatory term, it's not nice. I personally don't like saying anything like that, but you might hear people say, oh, she's such a meth. Number 18, again, this is a very common one. This is Baltic. It's Baltic, and that means it's very cold, which often it is in Liverpool and it does rain a lot. So when you go outside and it's freezing, instead of saying freezing, you can say, it's Baltic. Next one is devoed, devoed. So basically this means that you're devastated. Liverpudlians like to shorten words. So a very obvious one of these would be brekkie instead of breakfast. And there's um, parks in Liverpool that their names can be shortened. For example, Croxteth Park is known as the Crocky, things like that. So devoed is another example. Devoed's about that. Um, devoed me holiday got cancelled. Quick extra point there, the offy means an off license. Now an off license is somewhere that sells alcohol, newspapers, cigarettes, confectionery, the basics really. So the off license. So you'll often hear people say, I'm just going to go down the offy and get a paper. Last one is the Aussie. This is another example of Liverpudlians shortening words to make it easier. So I'm going down the Aussie means I'm going to the hospital. The Aussie is the hospital. I don't know what happened on Saturday night, but the Aussie was chocker. Right guys, those were the main Liverpudlian slang words you need to know if you're coming to Liverpool. Enjoy these guys and try using any of them in a sentence below. And if you're from Liverpool, tell me which ones have I missed?